Hello everybody and welcome to the second video of my new Python for Beginners course. In this video we're going to continue where we left off in the last video and we're going to go into some more detail. We'll be covering things like the print function, variables and data types. So to begin let's first remove this menu so that we have some more space for our code. Uh, and let's run this program again. The output is a hello world. So how do we get this output? Well, that's because of this print function. The print function is just a built-in function in Python that writes code to the screen. Uh, and we use this function by writing first print, then these braces, and everything that goes inside those braces will be printed. Uh, and, it's, and in this case, it's gonna be some text or a string. Uh, and a string, uh, you can recognize that by either double quotes or single quotes. So single quotes look like this. And then the actual te uh, text that you want to print. And in this case, hello world. Now we can have multiple print functions. So let's say, make a second one. Type print. Then again, braces. Uh, and then the text inside of double quotes or single quotes that you want to print. So hello world, my name is DevShell. Now let's run this again. And you'll see hello world, my name is DevShell. Okay, so now let's get into variables. So what are variables? A variable is just a piece of code that you use to store data. So, so the way I think of it is as a box. Uh, you have a box and you can write a name on, on the outside of the box. And you can also put something in the box. Well, the name of the box, that's the name of the variable. And what's inside of the box is the actual value of the variable. So I'll show you some examples right now. Let's say we have a variable x and we set that equal to um, hello. Now this here doesn't mean that x is the same as hello. This means that the value hello is set to x. Now if we print the value of x using the print function, we get hello. So hello world is of this print function. My name is devshell is because of this print function. And this hello is because we printed this x and the value of x is set to hello. Now the value or the data type of this x is a string because hello is a string. But we can also set it to something else, maybe a number. And let's remove this one. And now if you print x, we get 2. Now 2 is an integer. Uh, an integer is a data type. A data type just means the type of the data th that you have. And there are many data types. There's a string, an integer, a floating point number, and a boolean. So a string is just a piece of text. You can recognize it by either single quotes or double quotes. Uh, and let's create a, a string variable. So let's say we have a variable and we'll call it string. And we'll set that equal to string. Now we have this variable with its value, a text string. Now we can also create an integer. And let's call that uh, num. I will say num is equal to 10. So the data type of num is integer. Or we can create a floating point number. Uh, let's call that floating. Floating equals 0 0.5. So the difference between integer and floating point number is that integer is a whole number uh, and a floating point number can have decimal. Uh, so something like 10.0 is also a, po a floating point number. Now at last we have a, a Boolean data type. And a boolean can ha have two values, true or false. So uh, let's set this to true. And now if you print all of this, string, print string, print num, print floating, print boolean. Uh, and let's remove these first two. We get the value of all the variables. I also want you to notice something. Uh, when we just print some text with the print function, we use these quotes. But when we want to print a variable, you don't. Uh, you shouldn't use quotes. 
it just referenced the variable without these quotes. So what I want you to get from this video is that the print function is used for printing text to the screen, a variable is used to store some data, and data types say something about the type of the data. So is it text? Is it a number? Is it a number with decimal points? That's what data types are. So I hope you learned something from this video. If you like this video, hit that like button and please subscribe to, to help the channel grow. And I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Bye.